Mana mana mix and blend. Game over. Yeah. Guinness. You know what I'm saying? Yes, people. Why, why, man? A well excited thing today. Guinness Jamaican party. My name is M. The R. That is Up and Coming Productions, and we're in the Cook and Vibe kitchen. A long time in the day in that kitchen, my people. But before we talk to you, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing today. Today we're doing something different. Today we are taking one of the original, the most common food or recipes in Jamaican cooking, and we are giving it a twist. Today we are making. Guinness Jamaican patties. Yes! You heard it, you ears them here right. Guinness Jamaican patty. If you're not playing, you know, say I'm cooking vibe, not on the normal. You don't know how the thing set up and coming productions in the building. M.R. Make sure you subscribe and do the right thing. It's season eight, like I say, a long time in the kitchen and the people. A long time. Oh, probably enough people are, are a watch and you never see the kitchen before, so we're gonna show you the kitchen today. We're in the UK. We're in the Cook and Vibe headquarters. This time we're gonna show you around for the people then, for the new subscribers then, because Ben we're nearly touching 40k you know. That's crazy. Boy joy! 40k, we are nearly touching 40k. Just do the right thing and subscribe if you're watching and you haven't subscribed already. If you've already subscribed, you've been subscribed for years and you look the end of already subscribed. No! Tell someone. Make someone do right now. Everybody have YouTube now. Let's go people, today's <coughs> recipe. Yeah, so this is how we're gonna start it. All right, so basically this is where the inspiration come from. I was in Tesco's and I found this Guinness Ale and Steak Pie Mix. Automatically my, my, my mind just said patty. <laughs> beef patty, because this is a beef and steak pie, patty, same kind of lines, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're gonna put that to the side. Obviously we've got our Guinness, we've got our beef and we've got a few more things there that we're gonna deal with people. So we're just gonna put that over to the side for a second and the all purpose can go over there as well. Then the funny thing is, I had to recap my brain about the, the measurements and, and, and stuff that's going inside for the patties. I don't think I explained, because I have made the patties before, but I don't think I explained it right. So we're gonna use one and a half cups of plain flour. I can't remember, so I'm just gonna have to guess. <laughs> but if it works, then you know what I want. But nah, yeah. One and a half cups of, I was about to say 100 then. You don't want 100 cups of flour, you're gonna make a lot of patties, mate. <laughs> one and a half cups of plain flour. You can use all purpose, couldn't find no all purpose. And we've got, uh, you want, I think, 125 grams of unsalted butter. Um, maybe that whole one. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna show you how much we use, and as we go along, I'm gonna tell you exactly so you know what I've got. We are gonna add a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of uh, curry powder into this. So I'm gonna show you our run. Let's get busy. Why not? Why oi, why oi, why oi. One cup of flour, half. You zimmy. Hope you're enjoying season eight, people. It's actually really nice just being in the kitchen, in the cook on vibe kitchen, doing a nice, relaxed, but exciting episode. We've got one and a half cups of flour in there. You can put this flour to the side. You can also do that. You can add also a little bit of curry powder. Get that, get that color. And then, and then add a little bit of turmeric. Color, same way. Look and learn. No measurements. You understand? So I'll mix that around. Come on, really in there. Rubbing up curry and all and thing up on my fingers. Stain up your fingers with them. A little mix round. I don't know if we're gonna need any more curry powder or um, turmeric than that. Hopefully that should be good. Look and learn. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, so now we're gonna add the butter and put that inside. So, 125 grams would be half of it. 250 grams is all of it. Let's chop off 50. I reckon that's about 50. And uh, chop off a little tiny bit more. And that's probably like 175. 175 in there, so yeah, people, we're gonna chop the 175. People. So now what we're gonna do is just get all this butter into the mix and make it like crumbly. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying already I think we might be okay for butter. I think we, I think this might have been the right measurement to the people. I think we might I think we might have got it. You know what I'm saying? So now I'll go and mix up, mix up there. That you can see the colour start coming out in the flour now, you see it there? The turmeric and the curry powder is working. You know what I'm saying? So, mini mini mix and blend. You see me? Yeah, man, why are Yeah. So right now we're just trying to make sure there's no Butter, no thick bits of butter left in there, people. <laughs> it was all looking really nice and professional a minute when we was doing it and we weren't filming, but then we started to film, we started chucking it all over the place. But yeah, the colours come out in it. And I think we're, we're, we're pretty much good to, to go to the next step. So 175 grams of butter, one and a half cups of plain flour. Look and learn with the turmeric and the curry powder. And, um, we're in the game, people. We're ready to go to the next step of the Guinness Jamaican patty. Why oi! All right, so um, look and learn, people. We've got our mixture here. We've got ice cold water. We've got one cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work together here. You see me? Because I noticed in the one I've done before, I skipped past this and didn't tell people you can't be skipping things. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna add cool, little bit by little bit. When you when you're making dough and then things there, the last thing you want to do is dash a whole heap of water in, and then you can't go back. There's no going back from that. You know what I'm saying? So we've added so far. We've added like quarter. We are gonna need some more. You want this to like a doughy sticky consistency. You don't want this soaking wet. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if you're gonna need that much more. This is why you gotta do it little bit by little bit. You would chuck half of that in then and game over. Yeah. Hit tiny little bit more there people just to get this little bit on the side there. I think we're winning, people. Yep, this don't need no more water. Right, so here we go. Quarter cup of ice water. One and a half cups of flour, 175 grams of butter, and a quarter cup of iced water. That is the, the specific ingredients that you're gonna need. The Jamaican patties. Just getting all that off the side there. We don't want to waste none. Sometimes you have to give it a thump. And... Yeah, sometimes you have to give it a thump. Too. You know me? Wait, listen, listen. Don't ramp with me. <laughs> Remember our Guinness thing we had to with today? No? Yeah, so. All I'm doing now is just. This bowl's a bit small. Can't get, can't get a nice. Good presses. But yeah, it's getting as you can see. What we're gonna want, what we're gonna want to do? Let's get this into 
a nice ball. Yeah. Once we've got that into a nice ball, need it a bit more. But once we've got that into a nice ball, we're going to rest it. We're going to rest it. We're going to rest it for half an hour. You know what I'm saying? In that half an hour, you get ready for the exciting stuff. Guinness! You know what I'm saying? Yes, people, why, why, man, a well excited thing today. Guinness Jamaican patties. Remember where you see it first, you know, because I'm seeing some man try teeth with style and that. Some man try teeth, man, style and Benjamin Alcana. Niam! Look here, yeah, teeth, my style and original cook and vibe. Yeah, so you see the ball? I risk it now, I risk it for half an hour, you know what I mean? No, you should. <laughs> oh, you know new ones, people. You know new ones. Oh, oh. That's what happens if you don't make the ball the right way. Boy, boy. All right. Exciting time now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cooking the beef patty mince. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we've got the beef mince. We're gonna use it. We're gonna put the Guinness Allen steak pie mix. Some of that in there, bosh. We've got a little bit of easy spice, original Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there, cause you know, so we have to flavor it the right way, cause we're gonna know if that's the right way, cause we're gonna trust anything here too much. Guinness is gonna go in whilst we're doing the beef. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up one onion. We've got a nice brown scotch bonnet straight off the tree. Very, very strong, so you don't need a big one. So we're gonna cut up the onion we're then gonna cut up the scotch bonnet and we're gonna dash that in the pan and then we're gonna add the beef and then we're gonna add a little bit of thyme, onion, scotch bonnet, thyme, seasonings, beef, Guinness. Bosh. So, big up people, this is the Cook and Vibe Kitchen. If you ain't seen it already, let me show you little, 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 little details that you might not have seen. So up here, we've got our calendar. You get me, we've got some pimento. Well, well there was. <laughs> <laughs> these are all my spices, my Jamaican spices. All these, I've got loads more in my other kitchen as well. To be honest, all of my seasonings around the, the other kitchen. You get me, but I do have like some of my turkey seasonings and. Little bits and bobs there. We got some Scotch bonnets that I uh, was ripening. I'm drying them out to make Scotch bonnet seasoning. Look, we've got some other little peppers that I picked off the plants. There, chilies that I picked off the plant. We've got a pumpkin that's coming up to Halloween, as you can see on the walls here. Nice vegetables and ting. Yeah, got the cook on vibe sign. Done now, says Sir Bob. In the corner there, you have to have Bob Marley in the kitchen. This is my little juice bar, but it's ended up being a, a plant bar at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but this is my little juice bar. Certain times when man want to do little juice episodes. You know, we got a yellow, you know, sky juice, magnum, jelly coconut, ting, red stripe, everything there, man. Is there me? You've got a little spice rack here, a couple of little things, some, some, some spices and anything there. Don't know, so we have to have the breadfruit in the kitchen because we're in the UK. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, breadfruit there. Sir Bob again, representing in the corner. You get me? This is my little like um, shrimp kind of cupboard. So this is the crack, the um, crab, the crab legs, you know what I mean? Ching! <laughs> and this thing here is called Middle Quarters. This is a picture of Middle Quarters Shrimp County that's in Jamaica where they do the best pepper shrimp in the world. And this is a little picture of a pepper shrimp in a watermelon. If you're a real Cook and Vibe fan and you know, say the shrimp in the watermelon recipe is an original Cook and Vibe recipe. They are, yeah man, everything they are, peppers and even the, even the light switch you're representing. And look, some patties on the wall there. Cause the patties we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Why are you people? Yeah, man, we just gonna chop up the onion. You get me? I'll tell you something now, people. You see this, you see that, see that chocolate scotch bonnet? The brown one. Don't play with that, bro. Yeah, you want to use a fork to cut that bad man coming, I'll tell you the truth. Touch that with your hands. 
and then you touch your eye after that. Big problem. Big problem! <whistles> Telling you, kicks, bro. Do you know what? I'm not even going to cut that up. I'm just going to put that in the mixture like that. Me, I tell you the truth. Yeah, people. So if you fall over it, I'll put a little tiny bit of oil. Tiny bit because I'm oil like my patty and my meat, man. You understand? You understand? What yoy? It's started now. People, me, I chuck one more onion in. I'm gonna feel like that's enough onion to go in there. So now that's one more in, and that should be good. And there goes our beef, people. Our onions, our beef, our scotch bonnet. We soon add some thyme. And maybe a little garlic as well. You know what I'm saying? This little thyme plant's nearly dead now. But there was a little piece there. Still fresh on there, you know what I'm saying? Shaking the pot, people. Yeah. Yeah. Garlic, we've got the nice beef mixture going on in there with the thyme and the scotch bonnet and the onion with the beef inside. So now, like I say, now we're gonna start seasoning up the thing. Guinness season up the thing. So all purpose, I'm gonna go in for a little bit of all purpose just to give it that nice Jamaican flavor because you, you understand we have, to, we have to have the Jamaican flavor in. You did me. <laughs> yeah. Now, this Guinness pie and steak mix. Interesting. Smells a bit strange. We shall try. I was like, the color of it is weird. There we go. Not going to put all of it in. We're back. Three quarters of it. So now we're gonna mix this round. Guinness seasoning and the all purpose. As you can see, it's kind of like starting to uh, change color. Kind of getting that darker color now. Yeah. So good look people, I'm concentrating now. You see how that energy went from it. <laughs> why, why, man, you can't make the energy go down and end up, man, but stick with them. Why, why? That time. You see? Guinness. We are going for. making sure everything's covered. I don't think we're gonna add any more Guinness than that. Cause we know I and change up the flavor too, too much. You understand? Let's have a little. Wow. It smells like Guinness, bro. <laughs> Strange smell. It smells like, like your beef up and coming production, but you can smell the Guinness strong. But it's like settled in and just easy in it like nicely. Yeah man, so alright, we are make this cook down people. Oh, so in now it's gonna start getting messy now. So you wanna flour down the side of your kitchen so you can start rolling out the patty mixture. You know what I'm saying? Here we go people, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. And then we what we do. Take a bit of that off. And then we roll in pin. Or use a glass. I didn't even know I had this rolling pin. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, raw, where did that come from? 
someone must have bought it. I don't know when. But yeah, so basically, just rolling out the donor. Alright, we're gonna use this bowl to cut it out, people. If you want to use something smaller, whatever size you want to use. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. You're in the kitchen, cooking Guinness Jamaican patties. Nothing is normal. You see me? Chop around that. Like so. There, ready to be filled with the Guinness mixture. Why, I people, I'm not going to go through all of these because that would be very boring watching me roll and cut out these. And we're about good vibes, so we're now bore the thing. See you soon. Oh, There we go, people. There's our Jamaican Guinness patty mix. Yeah, and as you can see, we got our, our, our pat on doing eight. We decided to do eight of them, getting kind of exclusive. Yeah, not everybody can get a Guinness patty out here, is what I say? Cool can vibe season eight, don't be late. You know what I'm saying? So, um, all right, what you want to do? Get your beef. You don't want to overflow your patties. You don't want to overflow it, but you want to make sure there's enough in there. That should be good still. Touch there. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want no empty corner. Boy, oi! Alright, here we go. Now for the flip. Bosh, 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 bosh. Then it is a good look. Out here, you give it a little. Oh, what you think, man? Didn't know how to make patties, blood. Don't ramp with cook on vibe. Guinness Jamaican patty. You never seen it before, man. Don't lie to me and talk about, oh, yeah, I've seen that. No, you ain't. This is the first time you see it. And you know what? Just for a little chikoo, chikoo. Oh, you think I'm, you think I'm out here playing games? Look, pump pat in the man. Ha! Yeah, we're gonna fill up. Let's do another one. Let's do another one on camera. Let's do another one on camera. There we go. Get our beef inside there. I think this one's looking a bit more of a successful run because uh, there's no. There's no time in it, which has helped us out this time. You know what I'm saying? It, the, the mixture, definitely, it beefy, Guinnessy. May I tell you the truth? Oh, look, this one looks to do with a little bit more in it. That is supposed to cook. Now for the flip, why I? Bing, bang, bosh, bing, bang, bosh, bing, bang, bosh, bosh, bosh. Oh, there's a bit more room inside there. It was. It's no problem. It's no problem, people. As long as you don't overflow it, it's good. Wait, don't stop messing up my thing there. Hoi! Yeah man, two patties up and running soon there. All right, we're gonna continue doing the rest people. And uh, yeah, next stage.
people. So you want to butter up your tray, you get me? No delay. Jamaican patties, Guinness Jamaican patties, should I say. Straight in. Why, yoy? There you go. We've got another whole batch of here, people. You get me? But I'm telling you the truth, these ones look better than my daddy's. This was going on camera. <laughs> you gotta make it work. You zimmy people. Yeah, so um, there is our. Just, just take time, man, because that is a Guinness beef Jamaican patty. We're gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna put it in there for 20 to 25 minutes in pretty much of a low heat, 150 maybe, and uh, see how we get on. I'll tell you how long it took once they're nice and golden. And... Why, I mean, tell you the truth, the Guinness is kicking through strong, so it's interesting in how these are gonna taste. Guinness Jamaican patties, why up? Patties, done. In the oven, 150, 20 to 25 minutes. Might be less, we're gonna find out. We're gonna check it again in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> and see where I'll go on. 20 minutes later. Yes! Why are people? Guinness Jamaican patties. There you go, these ones look a bit better than these ones. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, wow, what a creation. Guinness Jamaican patty. You get me, so I don't even know what one I'm gonna go for. I might, I might just, I might just go for this one here. Actually, let me go for this. Ooh, what should I go for? <laughs> let me go for this one. All right, here we go, people. Guinness Jamaican patty. I'm going to probably taste the, 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 the Guinness for you. Mm. Patty's got to be hot. I'm going to be honest, it's blended in really nicely. Yeah, yeah. It's a good look. Mm. You can taste the Guinness, you can, but it's, it's blended in nicely. It's settled in nicely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yo, man. It's good. It's good. Many, many minutes later. Definitely taste the Guinness in that. And it, it tastes really nice. Guinness Jamaican patty. Look at that. Look at that, people. Amazing. I'm actually really happy. Look, can you see the, the flakiness? It's a good patty. It's a good patty. Mmm. Mm. It's only right. Guinness Jamaican patty. A little bit of Guinness. I'm not driving today. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that, Ben. You get me? So uh, there you go. What a great episode. I have to give me a like for that. Make sure you subscribe. You do the right thing, people. You get me? That is up and coming production. I can still taste the Guinness nicely from the beef and. Mmm, mmm, mmm! Yeah! My name is M.R. This is Cook and Vibe. That is up and coming productions. This is season eight. And this is a Guinness Jamaican patty. Big up section. I'll see you soon. Why oi? Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You do the way I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Why oi? Welcome to the big up section, people. I hope everybody's all right. You don't know how the thing set is cooking vibe. Another episode for you lot. Please just do the right thing. Subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos to your people. Them, you don't know how the thing set. Yeah. Because, man, I tell you something, people, I'm tired, no man, you probably can uh, see it. Tired, 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 yeah. So, this week's big up section, people. First of all, big up everybody supporting the channel. Yeah, I appreciate all of you. Yeah, it means a lot because if it weren't for you lot, where would we be? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, big up, I Doran. 
I think it's I or one door, I'm not, not too sure, but it says smashed it. Yeah, and that was uh, regarding the um, beef curry. Yeah, that was that was the beef curry. Look, all my tops messed up and everything. Oh, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, and um, also big up Sean Edwards. Yeah, he says, will there be a cook on vibe restaurant? Do you think? Well, I'm actually going to have an announcement. I'm going to have an announcement this week. Um, close friend of mine's open up a restaurant. I will be having, the, I'll be involved to a certain degree. Um, so definitely after next week, there is going to be a place where you can come and taste some cook and vibe food and get to see M dot. It's not going to be a full cook and vibe restaurant, but I, like I said, I'm involved. And yeah, um, we're nearly touching 40k. When I hit 40k, like I said before, I'm going to put an up and coming artist music video on my channel and we're going to run it. But also what I'm going to do when I hit touch 40k is I'm going to invite three fans to come and eat in the restaurant in the Big V cook and vibe restaurant. So just key it is that. It's all moving forward. Don't worry, people. You know what I'm saying? Why, why? I'll see you next time.